What are you lassoing? Literally nothing. <laughs> like and follow if you love Jesus. Oh. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Make sure you like and follow if you love wine and cats. <laughs> Tippy, what are we gonna do? I'll tell you what, the real VIP is Tippy because she sat on my lap the entire time I went through these Christian TikToks trying to decide which one I would include in this video. Because originally my thought was I would find one that was like long and I would do an entire video focused on that one, but then there were just so many. So this is gonna turn into a reaction to many different, very cringy Christian TikToks because like, just, just prepare yourself. One thing about me is that I will not let my babies go trick or treating this Halloween because this holiday promotes the devil and Satan, and I will not have my babies promote the devil or Satan. Y'all, this world is getting scary, so I'm calling on my mamas. If you really love your babies, don't, don't let, let them, them go. go. You should have them in your house. Oops, kind of messed up that one, but I mean, look at how adorable he is. He's a little bat. Bats are, they're just totally, they're uh, godly. God created every creature, including bats, so you're welcome. <laughs> now I will say this girl is hilarious. That one clip was satire. I had to show it because I thought it was so funny. Actually, that's what I saw that made me look into Christian TikTok, so I have to give credit to that one for inspiring me. But that theme is not something that's, that's new to anyone, right? The whole like, oh, Halloween's a bad thing. Don't let your kids go out. We've seen this for a long, long time. I made a video a while ago on like Halloween outfits and I would just, I don't even even remember it's probably a bad video don't watch it but it's easy to find content like that if you're a christian who participated in halloween you should repent and turn from your wicked ways <laughs> apparently this sign this sign that's the devil and satan both of them It's actually this that she's offended by, and this is part of that dance, I guess. I don't know, I don't keep up with what those kids are doing on TikTok, but you should follow me. I mean, I post stuff sometimes. You just, please follow me. This is actually, though, the sign for you, sign language, so I mean, I guess, <laughs> better not use that letter, because the devil and Satan. I wonder if she knows that that's not even Satan, but <laughs> who cares? Technicalities. So this has got a bot going behind it. I don't want to play it for copyright reasons, but it says when you finally have enough money to get in the hundred dollar line. This is something new to me. I've never heard of the hundred dollar line before, uh, but from judging from the comments, it's when the when the preacher, pastor, whoever's up on stage asks for a hundred dollars or sometimes even more and then there's a certain amount of pride that people feel when they can be the one to give that much money to the church which blows my mind <laughs> and they're tax exempt oh it makes me so angry spend your money on life experiences spend your money on health spend your money on fucking throw set it on fire before you do this do something for you take care of you people work a lot of hours there's not a lot of downtime sometimes people work multiple jobs what just to give it away to the church i understand that like that's what you know give away all your possessions and it's just to me sad especially when you see people that are hard working just give away give it away. <laughs> That's important. But what's more important than that is your style and whether or not the Lord would approve of it. There's a lot of problems in the world. I could list them off and be depressing. I won't do that. But I think of paramount importance is how revealing your clothes are. Don't be a hoe. How I dress before truly knowing Christ and her like man's right by her approving. Oh no, these are bad. Bad outfits. Ho, ho outfits. Not good. Okay. After reading the Bible and accepting correction. Okay. Former fetus. <laughs> She's wearing a sweatshirt that says former fetus. <sighs> so I don't have a problem with people dressing modestly if that's what they so choose. My problem with this TikTok is that, you know, there's a certain message that it's sending that if you're a Christian at all, and a lot of people in the United States are, if they want to be a real Christian or if they read the Bible, they should accept correction and be a different person. It's just very restrictive and almost judgmental feeling. Yeah, how I dress before truly knowing Christ. If you truly know Christ, you'll be like me. And I hate that mentality. I just, it bugs me. Oh, this one, this next one really needed. There was music, but I had to take it out. I'll explain later, but it's, it's the, so you guys know that one Shawn Mendes song that's like, I'd gladly sacrifice my life 
or I would gladly do it twice or something like that. Please have mercy. I can't actually play the song, but you know what I'm talking about, right? That's the song. So this is this dramatic TikTok is to that song. And it says, Shooter, if you're a Christian, stand up. She stands up dramatically. I'm a Christian. What are you doing, friend says. I'm prepared to sacrifice my life. I would gladly do it twice. Student says, Nicole, don't. Pulls me closer to the gun, dramatic. I, the freaking acting in this is so nuts. Oh yeah, where's your God now, huh? Lord, rip all this skin off my bones. Teacher says, Nicole, sit down. Stop praying or I'll shoot. I'm prepared to sacrifice my life. I would gladly do it twice. <laughs> shoot me. <laughs> it's like she's she's fantasizing and I see this often with with Christian talk hashtag Christian talk they like honestly they they have daydreams about being persecuted like it's a kink or a fantasy or something weird I don't get it now I saw some people critiquing this saying that's never happened I, I, listen, I went to Catholic school. We all had to be involved with the she said yes. It was almost like a movement. Um, we, we all heard about it. Listen, I get it. I would highly recommend if that ever happens that just just say no, friggin' live. And, and then what? Spread the gospel for the rest of your life. I don't give a shit, but just don't get, this is, it's just stupid. It's not like a, a reason to die. Just, you know, if there were a God, I would really like to believe they wouldn't be so petty has to be like, you better not ever even tell one lie because even one little lie one time that would save your life so that you could possibly have a positive impact in the future. Like, mm -mm, don't do it. Are we that petty? I look to my ceiling. I got some spider webs up there, shit. That one just was really cringy for me, so. But that's the point of this video, right? Cringe, yay. Things not to wear on your body as a Christian. Oh yeah, show off that Bible girl, show it off. <laughs> yes, Bible verse, sweet. Um, skulls. Oh, we can't wear skulls. No skulls. Don't speak or represent premature death on yourself. Oh no, bad. Skulls are bad. Sons with wicked faces on them. Really? It's wicked and represents evil. <laughs> sure. She's taking off her shoes. Are shoes bad? Are shoes bad? Dragons! Yes, we can't have dragons because, why? No dragons. It represents Satan. Oh. I thought that was a snake. I mean, I guess they're similar, but. Oh, Revelations. Yes, dancing to Revelations. Uh, the, the world set on fire and everyone going to hell. We're gonna dance to that because yay. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video with the comments on this because they're so freaking funny. Yes, yes, yes. This is why I try and remind my friends and loved ones to stop saying I am dead when something is funny. <laughs> These comments are so funny, like, girl, I am dead. Literally dying. We are all dying, though. I'm noticing the cutest things will sneak a small skull in the design, and I'm just like, <laughs> why? I literally just bought a shirt that is the shape of a butterfly, but it has little skulls inside. I didn't know. <laughs> am I gonna go to hell now? <gasps> Glad I saw this before I got a dragon tattoo. What about piercings and jewelry? I mean, good question. She's got those both going on, so. <laughs> this next one, I'm literally dead. This next one's so funny. And pants, don't forget, we're not supposed to wear pants. So, <laughs> I'ma wear all that and see y'all in heaven. <laughs> so ridiculous. Guys, I had so much to choose from in making this video. So if you want a Christian TikTok part two, I could literally do that very easily. There's so much cringe, like I thought, I had covered a lot of YouTube cringe, but damn, when you open TikTok, it's just, <laughs> there's no end. And if there's something on there that you specifically want me to respond to, just go on TikTok itself and just at me in the comments of that video and I'll probably see those. So that'll be the way that I am able to like save and favorite and keep myself reminded of videos so that my next one is even better. So make sure you follow me on TikTok, at me in the comments of crazy religious TikToks that you think would be funny to see in a video. And then I will see you guys in the next video that I post on that. I'm really excited about it. Like this video if you liked it. Likes really do help a lot in the algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section below. That helps a lot too. Please subscribe to this channel if you've not already. Ready? You can check out my very satanic merch at ffvmerch.com. Lots of satanic things, guys. Lots of satanic things. Go straight to hell. ffvmerch.com. Check it out. Thank you to those of you supporting me on Patreon. I'm going to stop rambling, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.